Pete is talking about didn't make things any easier on firefighters who were out battling a massive fire between Dallas and Grand Prairie this afternoon. In fact, many of you probably saw all of that smoke on your ride home. Our Andrea Lucia live near the scene. Yeah, you can see West Davis still shut down here behind me. Usually on a Thursday night, you'd see a lot of amateur racers headed down to the Yellow Belly Drag Strip down the road. That's where you see the fire trucks. And an employee there confirmed to me it was at the center of today's fire. A wall of dark smoke rose over West Dallas County. Firefighters responding to a reported grass fire found instead hundreds of tires fueling the blaze. We have tires, we have rows and rows of tires set down there. Alan Roberson works for the Yellow Belly Drag Strip and says the tires serve as a buffer to keep racers from veering into the nearby woods. Uh, my dad has run into him on the motorcycle. He's flipped over him. Dallas Fire Rescue says no one was injured and no evacuations were necessary. But on one of the hottest days of the year, firefighters faced even higher temperatures tackling these roaring flames. Imagine it's worse, uh, you know, near the fire. Bob Lucero came from the nearby McDonald's to offer firefighters water and a free meal. The amount of respect for our first responders uh, has really grown for me and watching how hard they work. And firefighters were able to use foam to bring down the intensity of this fire. They've spent most of this evening addressing hot spots that are left behind. I've just found out the Dallas County Fire Marshals are going to be investigating the cause of the fire. Reporting live in Dallas County, Andrea Lucia, CBS 11 News. All right, Andrea, thank you for that.